Ukrainians. President Zelensky made the comments in an interview on a train touring frontline towns. He was asked why his military is fighting so hard to defend the eastern town of Bakhmut. He said it was to deny Putin a victory. He will sell this victory. He will sell this victory to West, to his society, to China, to Iran, to all the countries, to Brazil, to Latin America countries. Bakhmut is now known as the meat grinder, reduced to rubble by months of shelling, a landscape crisscrossed by trenches and littered with the bodies of fallen soldiers. Thousands of Russian mercenaries and regulars have died here. Ukraine's dogged resistance has come at a high price, but Russia's advance seems to be faltering. Putin's victory remains elusive. Zelensky also said he was keen to speak to China's President Xi Jinping following the latter's visit to Moscow. I had contact with him before full-scale war, but during all this year, more than one year, I didn't have, and I really wait when our teams will uh, find like the solution. You, but no plans yes. at the moment. Yes. Okay. Yes. Would you invite him here to Ukraine? Oh yes, we are ready. We are ready to see him here. Russia conducted drills with nuclear missiles in Siberia on Wednesday, while in Moscow, Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said following its withdrawal from the START arms control treaty, Russia will no longer send notifications of its nuclear exercises to the Americans. The head of the UN's nuclear watchdog, Rafael Grossi, arrived in Zaporizhia to expect Europe's largest nuclear power plant. It's occupied by Russian forces, and nearby fighting has damaged the plant's electricity supply, crucial for its safety. Grossi wants the warring parties to strike a deal to protect the plant and avoid a potential nuclear catastrophe. There's no agreement so far. I think that, in general, the situation is not improving. It is obvious that military activity is increasing in this whole region. He said his talks with both sides continue in an attempt to establish the principle which he hopes all can agree on. That nuclear plants should never be targeted. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World.